Why does political unity often emerge as the linchpin in resolving conflicts? Consider the turbulent electoral season in Zimbabwe, a vivid tableau of disputes and dialogues that underscores the critical role of leadership in bridging divides. In August of last year, Zimbabwe was thrust into a whirlwind of political tension following its general elections. The opposition leader Nelson Chamisa rejected the election results in their entirety, aligning with the Southern African Development Community Electoral Observation Mission's report. This report indicated that the elections fell short of the revised SADC guidelines and principles of a democratic election established in 2021. Chamisa's rejection was not just a formality, it was a call to action. He demanded fresh elections to rectify what he saw as a flawed electoral process, a stance that resonated with a significant portion of the Zimbabwean populace. This bold move by Chamisa set the stage for a potential rerun of the elections initially scheduled by SADC for June 30, 2024. Enter the diplomatic endeavors of South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. Amidst this brewing storm, President Ramaphosa, a close ally of the disputed Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa, managed to pivot the situation from confrontation to dialogue. His intervention was pivotal. By January 9, 2024, Chamisa had withdrawn his demand for fresh elections, opting instead for dialogue with Minangagwa. This marked a significant de-escalation in the political crisis. The Southern African Development Community, which had been treading on thin ice, breathed a sigh of relief. The fear of escalating tensions had been palpable. Given the strong backing Chamisa had from the majority of Zimbabweans, President Ramaphosa's role was not just that of a mediator but also of a stabilizer, bringing together the ruling and opposition parties to a common ground of discussion. As we approach the end of June 2024, SAADC is set to announce the conclusion of its due processes regarding the Zimbabwe situation. This resolution, brought about through strategic diplomacy and leadership, highlights the importance of unity in leadership and the potential of constructive dialogue over divisive confrontation. To recap, the political landscape in Zimbabwe, marked by electoral disputes and calls for fresh elections, found a semblance of resolution through the intervention of South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. His efforts not only diffused immediate tensions but also set a precedent for how leadership can effectively foster dialogue and unity in times of political crisis. The current status in Zimbabwe remains a watchful calm as dialogues continue, with the hope that these discussions pave the way for a more stable and democratic future.